Hey, it's Ryan Harris from Como Radio, and as you might know, our neighbor across the street from Como Plaza is the Space Needle. Now, many of us have gone up into the observation deck and seen the new glass floor, but I am for the first time about to go up to the roof. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous about it. Uh, and even though I'm a grown man with an adult child, when my parents find out, they're going to be furious. But it should be fun because uh, former Seahawks great four-time pro bowler, Lawyer Malloy, is going to raise the 12th man flag. Here we go. First part of the journey. Got another... Speed guys, so it's gonna be a little bit longer trip than normal. Go ahead. I'm not an elevator operator, I give you the spiel. I was hoping you'd do that. Right, I know. I probably should practice it. There's water. Just at least give us the facts. If you guys are all Seattle lines, come on. She has Venus this morning, at least. Venus is good. Very amount, but not very bright. Oh, that one is kicking. Yeah. Holy cow. Wow. So, am I right? I'm not the only first timer in this elevator. <laughs> no, I'm the only one. I'm uh, I'm first first timer too. So, Are you nervous? Yeah. Uh, no, not nervous, but. Never been up in the Space Needle before, believe it or not. Oh, wow. And you get to go on the roof your first time. Yeah. yeah. Feel that wind moving the elevator. Yeah. All right, All right guys. Thank you. Uh, yeah. And let's see here. We're going to take you. Right. So now I'm up on the observation deck overlooking Queen Anne. And you can see up here. It's pretty windy. Last check, the wind speed at the top of the needle, 36 miles per hour, which means that 12 man flag is really going to fly. And of course, coming up at the top of the space needle, it's hard to resist the walk around. But since we have things to do, I'm going to keep it to a minimum. It's so much nicer up here with the glass. We'll let you look out case onto Elliott Bay, although I'm getting a bit of a reflection there, but uh, you can see one of the ferries coming into Coleman Dock. I have a thought. We have a couple of thoughts. I want to get your, your feedback on this. We could have one person go up and pool for everybody. And Elaine, if you don't, don't mind, if you should on behalf of AP, if we could share that shot, we could do that. Um, or we could try and wait it out a little bit. We'd like for the winds to get down to about 25 right now. It dropped a little bit. It's at 36, but it's going back and forth. We're going to get this flag up, right? It's just we don't think it's safe for this big of a group to go up there and do it with the winds the way they are right now. So the rest of us can't go up because sustained winds are more than 40 miles per hour, but <laughs> lawyers about to make his way. Okay, so the rope's moving, which means lawyers get ready to raise that flag. There it goes. There it goes. check those winds were sustained at about 35 miles per hour.
uh, edge of the rail there on the platform. about the, the third turn, I was like, I'm in trouble. <laughs> I was almost hot. <laughs> it was tough. Yeah, how was it? Yeah. It was tough. It was tough. The wind was uh, definitely up there howling and working against me, but uh, we got it done, man. Um, hopefully I got all the people uh, representing the 12s in, Seattle, Tacoma, 12s. Uh, you always know I'm a UW Husky for life, so I had that with you. Lucky you. Uh, but no, we got it done. Now let's get to the game. I saw you got a little brave and went out to the edge of the rail there. Uh, they told me that that was the next stop, and uh, I didn't know it was t <laughs> at the edge. It was too late. So, uh, no, it's fun, man. It's fun. Really secure up there. And, and the, the staff here does a great job of making you feel comfortable. So, Well, how would you like your first trip to the Needle? Uh, it, was, it was my first, and uh, um, I wouldn't be surprised if it's my last. Uh, I, I can mark it off my bucket list because I'm not too keen of heights. Uh, but this is a great cause uh, for a chance for us to be a champion again. Go Hawks. Nice. Make sure you take Tia downstairs to the glass floor, too. <laughs> we already went. We already went, buddy. I don't like that. I, like, there's too much space in between my feet <laughs> and the ground. At any point did you feel like you were about to take flight? Uh, every point. As soon as I got, <laughs> as soon as I got up there, it was like, whoa, let's, let's you know, balance. Uh, but no, definitely uh, with the, with raising the flag, I felt you know, you know how enormous that flag is, but I also felt the weight of the wind, uh, which um, luckily I worked out yesterday, uh, you know, New Year's resolution or whatever. Uh, but that really didn't help. Uh, I, I had to use all my grit and my muscle to get that flag. Up. Well, we, got it done. we got it done, yes. Yeah, it was fun. All right, thank you. Thank you. Go Hawks. Well, what's, it, uh, what's it mean to you to get a chance to go up and raise that flag ahead of the big game tomorrow? I mean, me, me being from uh, Tacoma, Washington, this is my hometown. Um, actually, I've been here 42 years, and this is my first time to the Space Needle. Uh, yeah, believe that or not. Uh, but it's a great cause. I mean, we're, we're in the NFL playoffs, 2019. Going for it all, and uh, our Seahawks have a chance. How about the way they finish the season? They're going into the playoffs as one of the hottest teams right now on the road. That's a lot of momentum for them to carry. Yeah, they surprised me this year. I thought this year was a uh, um, yeah everybody's the, re the rebuilding year. I was one of those fans too, and Pete showed uh, that he could rally, rally, the, rally the troops, and uh, he rebuilt the, his, himself and the team and the atmosphere. And, uh, like, and got those guys believing, and now they have a chance. Um, those guys are young. They're flying around. They're having fun. And uh, I like our chances. Speaking somebody of, who played oh, in the, somebody who played in the playoffs numerous times and was, was successful, what, what, do you, what kind of things are you looking for from some of the younger guys this year? Uh, first of all, you got to get here. And uh, we, we have tremendous amount of leadership in that locker room, and we have enough young guys that are hungry. And that's what's showing on the field, the film. Um, and then you, as a, as an older player, and as a coach, and as as an organization, and the, the environment that you create, you got to make these young guys believe. Believe is is their is is their time. You're up next. The NFL can bring you whatever you want, but you you got to do it the right way. And these guys are doing that right now. Larry, how do you how do you expect to keep yourself from flying off the top of the space needle? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm a little nervous being in the like I said being in the space needle the first time. Uh, we, we we gathered up uh, 43 mile per hour winds on the day I have to raise the flag. I asked any of you guys if you wanted to substitute out with me, and I'll hold the camera. And <laughs> at least I need one of you guys to hold my waist. <laughs> uh, no, I'll, I'll get it up there. So hey, for your first visit, man, you're going like. You get the full experience outside, very top. <laughs> You're not afraid of heights, are you? Yeah, it'd be like the, the Titanic when they did the scene on, you know, on, on the front of the boat. You know, I just need somebody to hold me tight, 
Well, I'll raise the flag up and we'll, 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 you know, we'll get it done. We're getting some crazy light on your face. Would you mind stepping back about a foot and a half this way? Oh. Uh, so, so now turn toward us again. Is that better, guys? Somebody's, yeah, uh, somebody's, somebody's camera lights. Oh, it was a camera. Somebody's okay. putting okay. shadow on him. It's good there. Now, Lawyer, you've raised the 12 flag at the stadium yeah. prior to a game, raising it here at the Space Needle. How different is this experience going to be, especially, like you said, first time here at the Space Needle, going all the way to the top? Uh, the experience of raising the flag at at uh, CenturyLink was, was amazing because it was the fans, you know, the atmosphere there is just, you know, like no other in the NFL. Uh, you know, I got to, I, I got to get the, the fans, you know, going, and, and I wasn't scared. Now I'm t- on top of the Space Needle with 43 mile power winds. Uh, I think I'll be a little more nervous to do this than, <laughs> than being at the stadium. But uh, we're going to have fun. We're going to get this done. Oh, yeah. Do you believe in destiny? I mean, with the Seahawks season, the passing of Paul Allen, it seems like the stars are aligning for a great run. Uh, do you believe in that? And what do you think about the Seahawks running this year? What I do believe in is one game at a time and uh, giving yourself a chance to have a chance. And that's what the Seahawks have done so far. At the end of the year, uh, if we're hosting that Lombardi Trophy, of course, we'll, you know, we'll, we'll pay our respects to Paul Allen and what he's done for not only the Seahawks, but for our city and uh, the world. Well, you've done the playoffs. You know the playoffs <laughs> uniquely well. Um, <laughs> Just the experience, that kind of one-and-done mentality, the preparation and everything that goes into it. Yeah. Uh, there's not much like it in, in pro sports, really. There's, not, there's nothing like it. I, I think that you know the one thing that's unique about the NFL is that every game counts from, uh, from you know, week one until right now. Uh, the regular season is to, 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 to get into the dance. And if you slip up week one, you know, that can have, you know, uh, uh, implement uh, – that can get you out of the playoffs uh, at the end of the year. Mm-hmm. And we saw that this year. Um, you know, you're, you're seeing a whole bunch of new teams, new, new teams that uh, have you know, fresh young faces going out, putting up numbers. Uh, you're seeing a, uh, a defending champion that just you know, got in by, by, you know, uh, uh, by the threat of, uh, uh, of the clothes. And, um, but they have a chance to, you know, um, to, de- to defend. And uh, it's just the parity in the league right now is, is really, really good. Every year there's, there's you know, a team stepping up, individuals stepping up, uh, and I just think right now it's, it's so equal that uh, it just, as fans watching the NFL right now, it's just this is a good time to watch. What do you think of the Dallas good. mystique? You go, they're still the Cowboys, man. That's still their, their house. <laughs> they're still the Cowboys, and uh, they've messed up a lot more than a lot of teams – once they got to this level, so hopefully that that continues to happen. Um, but no, I, I I'm really, uh, you know, I was one of the ones scratching my head uh, for what they gave up for, for the receiver. Um, that was that was really big. But you know, uh, he's paying bit, big dividends for them. I think that uh, we're with a receiver uh, that can you know stretch the stretch the field. It uh, gives the defense just one more thing to worry about, not not just. Uh, uh, you know, the quarterback and, and the running back. See, I don't use their names. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Yeah. Uh, I just I don't. That's that's me as the competitor. Uh, but you guys all know who I'm talking about. I think they're a well balanced team right now, uh, with the addition of, uh, of of the receiver that they got and and their defense is playing. You know, you know, lights out. It's going to be a tough game for the Seahawks. But in order to be a champion, you got to go go into tough environments and get the job done. And I think we're ready to do that. You talked about defense. It looks like defense is back for Seattle. You got any favorite players? Or what do you think about the young secondary that picked it up this year? My favorite player uh, is Bobby Wagner, uh, just because he's the leader. You know, it's one thing to go out and uh, uh, try to be the best you can be, and you know, uh, set the bar high at your individual uh, um, position. But are you bringing others with you? And uh, that's what I see him, him doing every every single. Every, every single Sunday, he just—he's uh, the heartbeat of of, uh, of our team, um, and he's carrying it on. And he's making these young guys believe, believe they have a shot. And the way you do it is by hard work and you know showing up. And and uh, when you when you're not when you're not sure, just follow my lead. And uh, that's that's very evident when you're when you're watching the Seahawks play on Sunday. Uh, his guidance. Hey, lawyer, what, what does the 12th man flag mean to you? 
It means the beginning of the party. You know, once you raise that 12 man up, it's like, okay, all, you know, our team is ready. We got 11 guys that can go on the field. All right, but in order for us to have a party, we need one more person. And that's that 12 man. That's our advantage. Okay. And uh, they're lucky that they don't have to come here this year. Or we might, I don't know, there are scenarios that, that can get us back here. And everybody throughout the league knows that no, no, nobody wants to come and face not only the Seahawks, but the 12 man. But the one thing about us going on the road is that the 12 man travels also. I've been on the road, and, and at the end of, end of the day, once we start taking care of business and that fourth quarter comes and that other team has no chance, that's when you hear the 12 men still there. Now, you grew up here in Washington. You college ball in Washington. You finished your NFL career here. What makes this fan base so unique to Seattle? I mean, it's like the, 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 I think it, all of them feel like they're still in college. You know, uh, I, I played right here in Montlake, and that's the, the same crazy atmosphere I feel at NFL games, which don't, don't really happen. You know, uh, the NFL is, is real political and more business or, oriented in, in a lot of in a lot of stadiums. It's pretty quiet, and they go with the ebbs and flows of, of the game. Versus here, it's like as soon as that whoever's raising that 12 man flag, you know, goes up and. And everybody starts standing up. They stand up for the rest of the game. You know, there's one other uh, stadium that I think is, is comparable, which I don't, I, you know, again, I don't like talking about the opponents, but this atmosphere that, that um, has been created uh, um, in the Seahawks organization, the late great Paul Allen, um, and our fans is uh, like no other. You play for Pete at the beginning of your career and at the end of your career. What is it about Pete Carroll that you think that can take this team all the way to uh, the championship? Again, like I said before, um, uh, you have to lead by example. And uh, you know, when, when, when Pete says uh, um, anything, you, know, you just have to believe the guy. And I've seen his transforma transformation from you know the first time he had an opportunity in New England, or actually that was the second time because he was with the Jets before, but him being in New England, going down to USC, figure out, figuring out the recipe, because everybody's trying to figure out the championship recipe. When he came back, he was a different, uh, a different dude uh, with the organization that you know believed in, believed in him, and was going to give him the time. A great GM that's that's obviously working with them. Uh, um, they know how to win the championship, get there again, maybe not win it, but also when you know when. Uh, when time calls for it, because guys get older, contracts get big, how do we reinvent ourselves? And that's the difference that you know he has now that he didn't have in New England, and probably with the Jets. He has you know you know he has the time, he has belief in you know with, with the fans and the organization, and uh, it's all right now. It's all trust and peace. Hey guys, we have a flag to raise, but a couple of things occurred to me as we were doing this interview. The first is if you go outside. And you go where this young lady's squeaking off the benches. You can actually stand on those benches, and you're going to be able to be able to look up at the mask as the lawyers up there raising it. So that's kind of a cool perspective you might be able to grab. Uh, you have plenty of time to get set up. So again, we're going to take Elaine up. We're going to take oh Dante God. up. God's right? <laughs> Uh, we're going to take someone from the Hawks to go up as well. <laughs> and then I want to give you guys an email. Elaine was kind enough to offer up her email address if you guys want to spill. So if you guys, and I'll, I'll uh, have it available, I'll leave it down here with Danielle. She almost looked at me like, I hope you uh, it, is, it is E.M. Thompson. She said, good luck. Wow. Hold on to your hat up there, all right? Hold on to it. Batten it down. This way. You're ready. To the back. You're good. You're ready to go. Lawyer, you feel the floor move? You gotta say like aerodynamic. Yeah, when you yeah. turn it around, it's like, and then you, you gotta get one leg you up. It's, it's all about the balance right here. You know what I mean, the low man always wins. You gotta do that three points. And then it's, it's like, <laughs> one, tongue out. <laughs> we are all gonna be supporting you from down here inside. So we hope we hope for the best for you. Thank you, bud. Yeah, we'll, we'll be, appreciate we'll be, it. We'll be thinking right. about you down here. Yeah, in we the wouldn't want to make dry. mess up that makeup you have on. Oh, yeah. Anything, right? yeah. You noticed. Yeah, Thank I you. noticed. Yeah. yeah. No Yours blemishes. Looks good too. <laughs> <laughs> Lawyer, do you feel the floor moving? What? Do you feel the floor moving? No. Do you? Yes. <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> I'm not.
<laughs> You're gonna be all right. I'm gonna be all right. I'm gonna get. I'm gonna do it. Are you going up with me? No. Wide stance. Wide stance. I couldn't make a trip to the top of the needle without doing the glass floor. About 500 feet up. I don't know why I'm nervous walking around on it. I walk more confidently. For some reason it's not moving today, but it is normally a rotating floor. As you can see, when you turn toward the center, it <laughs> you look straight down to the ground. Looks like they're starting to get the restaurant back together here. Interesting view of Mopop down there, the Museum of Popular Culture. Well, we didn't get to go all the way to the top because of the winds, but still a good time and a good view. And of course, we wish the Seahawks the best of luck in Dallas.